Cybersecurity is one of the best fields to break into, with the average information security analyst making $112,000 per year. The growth is 32% in the next 10 years, which is way faster than average as well. And if there's any time to get into cybersecurity, it is right now. But where do you begin? You can learn everything yourself, but it will take work and you're doing it alone. That's just how it is. But it still works and that's completely fine. And another option is to take a bootcamp where you get access to mentors, coaching, accountability, and guidance. This can be better for some people. Today, I'll review the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp, and it's one of the few, if not the only bootcamp with a 100% job guarantee. And if you don't land a job, you don't pay. Now, I firmly believe that you can learn everything yourself, so I usually avoid partnering with the boot camps. But Springboard is an exception because their student results are excellent. I partnered with them many times before, and the feedback from you guys have been great. It does not take years, it only takes a few months, and they have real one on one mentorship. Plus, graduates of this exact boot camp have been hired by companies like Cisco, Walmart, CBS, and also the US Department of Defense. So it is a recognized program in the field, and as I said, they even offer a job guarantee, which we'll talk about later. I also checked the reviews online to see what people actually think, because that's what matters the most. They have 4.6 from over 1,500 graduates on course report, and they have a 4.5 rating from over 500 students on Career Karma, and they have another 1,600 reviews on switchup.org with a 4.6 out of 5 rating. Now, let's begin by just talking about Springboard. They have different career boot camps to help you quickly transition into a new tech job, including cybersecurity. If we take a look at some statistics, you'll see that the average salary increase of a Springboard graduate is around $23,000 per year. Now that might sound like an unreasonable amount, but jobs in tech fields like cyber can pay really well, so it's not that surprising to see a considerable salary increase if you're transitioning into the field. Springboard also has an 85% job placement rate within 12 months. And this means that nearly all of its graduates have a job within 12 months. These statistics are really important because we wanna know if it's worth our time. This is also based on over 18,000 students who have taken the Springboard boot camps since they launched them back in 2016. So they've also been around for nearly a decade at this point. Now we're gonna focus on the cyber boot camp itself. And it is for complete beginners and designed to help you become a cybersecurity analyst and land your first job. We're going to start with the curriculum. There are 50 different hands-on labs or kind of mini projects. And yes, I said 50, not 15. We also have one capstone project, which is kind of like your final portfolio project that you do. The actual course content is structured into 17 topics, and we'll go through them quickly together. First, we have an introduction to AI and its applications in cybersecurity, and it's just about understanding how AI and what it will do for cybersecurity in the future, which is a very relevant way to begin the course. Then we'll go over the cybersecurity fundamentals, where it's just teaching you the fundamentals of computers and the security field in general. Then AI for threat detection and incident response. We'll talk a little bit about cybersecurity attacks, the different attack types and host-based security, and then getting into some security and different types of threats. They'll also cover network security and AI for these purposes, and also identity and access management. And if you're still following, then I can say that they're also moving on to a really interesting topic called cryptography. And in the last few topics, they'll cover security architecture, operations, application security, and a topic called explainable AI or AI for predictive security analytics. As you can see, they are integrating AI a lot into this curriculum, which is highly relevant because there will be a lot of new AI based threats and also ways to use AI to protect and defend against threats. And next they cover security assessment and testing and then AI in malware analysis and NLP for cybersecurity. And that's pretty much it for the course content. The final three topics in the curriculum will be the CompTIA Security Plus exam preparation. This certification is well known in the industry and recognized by employers, and Springboard is actually a partner of CompTIA. So when you complete the Springboard program, you will also become a CompTIA Security Plus certified. This is the one that employers are looking for on the job market, and you don't need to go and get certified on the side because you'll already do that as a part of the Springboard program. Now, we also have the Capstone project, which is kind of a portfolio project that you'll be building. It is in five different phases and you'll be doing pen testing on a hypothetical scenario. The five different phases are reconnaissance, identifying targets and run scans, 
identify vulnerabilities, threats assessment, and finally reporting. The goal of the capstone project is kind of to bring all of your skills from the bootcamp together into one final project, and then you can actually show this project to employers when you're looking for a job. So it's going to be immensely helpful, and especially if you combine that with your certification, because you can kind of put all of this together into your portfolio, which you'll also get help creating. And the final topic, 19, is career support. It includes tips on understanding different jobs, job searching strategies for cybersecurity, and how to kind of build a network to get better job offers. They also cover the basic things like creating a resume, a LinkedIn profile, and such. And a really crucial part is also preparing for interviews, so make sure to, to make sure that you feel comfortable and that you can succeed and actually land the job. They also cover things like negotiating salary to make sure that you're getting the best deal. And I really think that this career support is one of the most critical parts of the program because anybody can have a course and teach you stuff. But the important thing is actually being able to transition from the course to a job and helping you get to that next level. Now, there's one part that we completely forgot about, and it's probably the most important part. So before we get into the pros and cons, I want to talk about mentorship. Having a mentor can be an amazing way to avoid mistakes and get closer to your goals significantly faster by learning from somebody else and from their experience and their mistakes. And there is a reason why every great athlete has a coach. They know that doing it alone will be absolute madness. So let's cover the springboard system and how mentorship works for your cybersecurity bootcamp. Now, there are four different pieces of mentorship here. The first one is going to be your kind of main mentor. You'll have contact with this person during your entire study period, and you can reach out to this mentor and get help and they will also hold you accountable and ensure that you see the success that you're looking for in the field. Now, they have different mentors, and I cannot tell you exactly which one you'll have, but here are some of their mentors that you can see on the screen. One is a senior manager, one is a cybersecurity architect, and one is an MSSP or managed security service provider manager. And you get direct access to these people who are your mentors who are there to help you. Now, there's also the career coaching, and these are kind of people that help you prepare for the job search specifically. They spend all of their time doing this stuff, so they're pretty good at it. They might show you new tactics for applying for jobs, give you some personal advice, help you prepare for different interviews, or just fix your resume. And in general, their objectives are kind of to help you gain confidence on the job market. The mentors focus more on the cybersecurity specific things, and these guys focus more on the career aspect and becoming job ready. There's also the student advisors, and these guys can help you with anything that you need, and they're kind of like your springboard personal contact. They're not really focusing on the course itself, they're more focusing kind of on you as a learner. And there's also, of course, the community itself, and here you can network with other people or other graduates and gain a valuable cybersecurity network. That's one of the main benefits of boot camps. So you're actually getting mentors, you're getting a little bit of accountability and some community as well. And you can see how they're getting jobs, what they're doing, and also what mistakes they're making, of course, and kind of be part of a group coaching and networking events as well. And just in general, learn from each other. Now, I want to move over to some of the pros and cons of the cybersecurity boot camp. And at this point, you already know that I think it's a great program, but I don't think it's for everyone. And I want to be clear about that. It is more expensive than learning through low cost online courses, but that's expected as well well and you're getting a very different experience. They do offer different payment terms, but it's meant to be something other than a quick course that you take and never think about again. This is a complete six month program with real mentorship, full support and actual accountability and a community. And you have real people there to help you succeed. And these are things that you don't get in other places. And for that reason, I think it's more justifiable. But there are two types of people that I would not recommend this program for. And those are either people in a very bad financial situation. And you must also be very serious because it does require a significant investment, both time and money. And their goal is to get you a high paying cybersecurity job. The goal is not just to play around and see if you want to be in the field. So you have to make a decision first. They also have a job guarantee, which I think is definitely worth mentioning. But as a disclaimer, you will need a bachelor's degree or one year of relevant work experience before you can access it. So you also have to send some kind of job applications. You have to follow their procedures and actually make sure to put in all of the work that they ask you to. So there's going to be some requirements, but nothing really extraordinary, I think. But just be aware of that there are some requirements for the job guarantee that you need to fulfill for it to be active. And nothing really unreasonable in my opinion. Of course, you'll have to put in some work yourself to see success. Now, my conclusion for this one is going to be that boot camps are certainly not for everyone. But for the right person, this boot camp can really be the difference between landing your dream job and never getting any job at all. It has accountability, real mentorship, actual coaching, and a clear path to getting a job in cybersecurity. 
and I think Springboard offers some of the best, if not the best, boot camp on the market. I also made a deal with Springboard to give you guys a $1,000 discount if you sign up using my link in the description. And this is a significant discount and it's not going to be available forever. So if you do want to get your first job in cyber and learn more about the boot camp, then check out the link in the description. <coughs> You'll get to a website where you can learn more and you can sign up for free and get all the important information sent to you right away. And whatever you decide to do, I wish you all the best. 